Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, how's Mo doing, and will he be able to, to go tonight? I think he's going to try to. We felt a little bit better. We did a, a you know, a, a walkthrough a couple hours ago, and he was able to participate in that. So as long as he can get through his his routine, then uh, he's going to try to play. James Hill, BNCC, BNC Sports. Coach Cliff, a great opportunity this weekend, a two games set to finish the season at Philadelphia. Uh, what's the mindset going in, sir? Well, same thing, you know, try to try to clean up the things that we didn't do as well last night, um, you know, and try to put uh, 48 minutes together. So, uh, you know, what's, uh, you know, we played a team last night that was obviously playing for a lot. They played well. Um, we were better in the second half. And now tonight, you know, they have a chance here to clinch the top, uh, number one seed. So uh, we're playing really talented teams with a lot to play for. Um, we're hopefully locked in tonight to not turning the ball over uh, and playing good defense in the post, which would be a big part of the game. Coach Cole Anthony is getting better every game. Uh, can you just share uh, your perspective on, on Cole? Well, I think he's, you know, particularly it's his pick and roll game uh, where, you know, he's added some things, you know, the, the dribble arounds down the baseline. Um, you know, he's able to get consistently into the paint. And uh, I think, he, like you say, he's shown good progress there going forward. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, if you were a journalist and were writing the story of this Magic season, how critical was, how much of a turning point in retrospect was Markel's injury? Everything. I mean, I, I for me, I think if, I, I look at the teams that are playing right now for fourth, fifth, and sixth, and I think if he doesn't get hurt, we'd be right there. Uh, you know, we were six and two out of the gate, and uh, that injury was a game changer. I'd, and, and yet, I'd still say if we weren't so, absolutely ravaged by injuries, we still would have been a factor in this. Um, but, you know, with him, if you look at the East, the East, let's be honest, you have to look at the East isn't nearly as good as it was a year ago, just not. And uh, I think there's three really, you know, elite level teams and there's a bunch of teams that are very good that have done a good job. Uh, but if Markel doesn't get hurt, I believe we'd be right there with Atlanta, with New York, with Miami, uh, right in that mix. Where has his absence been felt? Has it been with his uh, court generalship, his ability to make other guys better? Um, I mean, I, I think that presence on the court, uh, you know, he has great size at that position. You can play through him in the post. He obviously, you know, he and Booch had developed a really difficult pick and roll game for people to, to, uh, to defend. I mean, people got to remember, a lot of it's just talent now. I mean, you know, Markel is a number one pick. And uh, he has a sense of the game, a feel of the game that not many other people have. Basketball IQ in our, in our league right now is paramount. That's one of his biggest strengths, you know. Um, he brings intangibles to the group. And, um, oh, he, I mean, I feel like he was ready to have a big, big year. Dan Savage. If I know the, the nature of the schedule doesn't give you, you know, too much time to, to watch the other group, but, you know, in spite of the fact that they've had talented teams in Philadelphia before, the additions uh, of Seth Curry and Danny Green, how much more balanced uh, does that make them and perhaps even open up things even more for guys like Embiid and Simmons for them? Oh, totally. I mean, it, you, you hit it right on. It's funny, I... Steve Hetzel did this game plan, and we were talking about that before. And those, that's exactly what he mentioned. In our league, I think people don't always understand. I've coached in every level of basketball. The number one thing you want to have offensively is spacing, right? That's, that's the number one. But when you play in the NBA, because guys are older, not because the coaches are smarter, but your spacing is your shooting. Because guys only guard you to where you can shoot from. It's paramount. Shooting is a, uh, you know, a huge, a huge piece of what you have to do. And when you add two absolute knockdown shooters, 
like the two guys you just mentioned. And then you have guys like Simmons and Tobias Harris and Embiid is it creates more space on the floor for them. So just like a guy who's not a range shooter, uh, better be an incredible cutter defender. Those guys that can really shoot the three, you know, they help their teammates just by being out there on every single offensive possession. Back to James Hill. Coach, uh, Kobe Bryant is, grew up in that area, and his dad played there, Jelly Bean. Uh, tomorrow he gets inducted in Springfield. Can you just share your thoughts on Kobe and uh, what that means in terms of uh, just he's going into uh, the Hall of Fame? Yeah, I mean, one, listen, I, I've been so blessed in this league to – I uh, have experiences that uh, I never take for granted. In my year with the Lakers and have a chance to get to know him uh, was one of those things. I mean, he's one of the great competitors, great winners of all time. Uh, but his passion for the game, how much he put into it. You know, I, I shared with our younger guys last week, I got to the Lakers in July and they had hired Eddie Jordan. We were going to change the offense and run the Princeton offense of which Eddie – you know, as an expert at Kobe went in for the month of August. Now this was at age, I think 32 or 33, August, August, five days a week from seven to eight, seven to eight, 15. And I used to go in and rebound for them. Uh, Eddie taught him the Princeton offense because he wanted to be a step ahead when training camp started. And when you watched him work and the kind of questions he asked, uh, and the amount of time, again, but it just, it was his intensity, his concentration, and how detailed he was about the game. And uh, yeah, just, you know, incredible, incredible, uh, incredible person, and incredible competitor, uh, incredible passion about what he did. All right. Thank you for your time, Coach.